Welcome back everyone. You may have just purchased your Google Pixel 6 Pro and you may be trying to figure out how you can even use this specific device. Now luckily for you, this is probably one of the better Android phones you can pick up. So this is a pretty much complete beginner's guide. I'm assuming you already went through the setup and you know some basic stuff about phones, but here are some of the main things you need to kind of learn to become a pro of your Pixel 6 or your Pixel 6 Pro. Now starting off with the outside, you have a beautiful display on it. It's a 6.71 inch OLED panel. So the dark pixels are completely dark. They're pretty much all, they're pretty much turned off, which is beautiful. You have a front facing camera right here and the edge of your panel actually does curve. So keep that in mind. If you hold your phone in certain areas, you may actually end up triggering the display. And if your display is on, you may actually end up, you know, kind of touching it, even if you're holding it like this. So just a little precaution to kind of keep in mind. Now up top you have a microphone, so nothing super crazy, and you have your band right here. And at the bottom of our phone we have our USB Type-C port right here, and our speaker grills, and another microphone. On the left side of the device we have nothing, so no buttons right here that you have to worry about. All the buttons that we have to worry about are on our right side. So we have our power button right here, where we can go ahead and turn on and turn off our display. We have our volume up and down buttons right here as well. And on the back we have our glass back with reverse wireless charging our triple camera setup with flash and microphone right up here. And on the right side, like I mentioned, no buttons, but we do have our SIM card, you know, insert and export tool. So if you want to insert your SIM card, which most of you probably want to, in the box, it, there is a little, you know, SIM card eject tool like this. It's a little needle. All you really have to do is find that little hole right here, which is on, again, the right side of the phone if you're looking on the back, but the left side if you're looking on the front. And all you have to do is just input this little SIM card eject tool right inside of that hole push down and you can go ahead and take out that tool like this and you can import that SIM card right here. And all you have to do whenever you're done with it is you can slide this thing right back into here, make sure it's flush there and your phone will probably register your SIM card. So that's pretty much the outside body walkthrough. Now if you wanna turn on your phone, you can always double tap on the display after you set it up or you can hit that power button on the right side of your phone and you will come straight into your lock screen. So within here, there's nothing super crazy. We do have our fingerprint sensor set up here. If you set that up, then you can just input your fingerprint right there and it'll go ahead and register it. But on the lock screen, there's some other things you should keep in mind. You'll have your cell connection, you know, information right up here, how many bars you have. You'll have your Wi-Fi, power, and all that good stuff on the right side. You'll have your date and time right here and the weather as well. So if you ever want to see some quick weather, whatever, some information, you can see all that information here. Any notifications that you have that you have set up will show up right up here as well. And that's really pretty much it. You can always access your lock screen and your little control center by swiping down. Or you can get into these toggles here, which we'll get into in a second. That pretty much covers it up. We can swipe up and we'll come straight into our homepage. Now within our homepage, there's a lot of different things going on. You can modify pretty much anything within this homepage. And if you want to access your full applications, all you have to do is swipe up and you'll come straight into all the applications you have in your device. So it makes it really easy to find things, you know? So if you're trying to find your phone app, all you have to do is either go through, all these are in alphabetical order, and you can see the phone app right here. But if you can't find it, you can always search for your specific app right here. So this will cover every single application you'll ever want to find. If you want to find phone, you just have to type in on the keyboard like this, type in phone like so. And even before you're done typing, you'll find the phone app right there. You can go ahead and open it up and go ahead and phone call whoever you want to. Now, the other thing is with gestures. If you want to go home, you can, there's no button really to, there's no home button anymore. So pretty much you can see this little bar at the bottom right here. You just pretty much have to drag it up and you'll pretty much come home. So again, if you want to go to another application, you can swipe up. You can go and click on messages, you know, so let's say we want to find messages. Well, when you type in messages, before you even finish it, you'll find the messages application right here. But I'll also tell you a bunch of other little, you know, tidbits of information. Under settings, there's a messages toggle. Under Google Assistant, there's a broadcast thing. But here's the application we want. So we'll go and click here, and we'll come straight into this little application. Now, let's say we want to go back home. Well, we swipe up and we go home. But let's say we want to go back into messages. Well, instead of trying to go through and go back up and finding that application, if we already have it up in the background, all we have to do is grab the little bar at the bottom, as you can see. So just like how we swiped up to go home, we can grab the bar at the bottom and we can actually drag the application back into our home screen. And we can even do this to go back to the previous application we were just in. So we can grab it and we can go back into a phone call. We can go back here and we can swipe between all the applications we were just in. So it makes it very easy for us to, you know, swap between applications. So that's one part of the gesture based design. There's one other thing within gestures that you really need to know. So we now have swipe up to go home. We now have swipe between applications. But now we can swipe to get into our multitasking panel. So when we swipe up, 
and we stop you know about halfway you'll pretty much come into this specific panel so i'll do it once more so if you grab this and you swipe up and you don't let go you just kind of hold it up to go to probably like this far into the display you will get into this panel this is very cool you can swipe and see all of the applications that you had open and here you can go ahead and close out of applications by swiping up onto that app now you can also swipe all the way to the side and you'll see this clear all button so if you want to clear all the applications, which you don't really have to, but it's good practice sometimes if applications are an opening right or if there's issues, you can swipe out of them just like so. And you can close them pretty much, but you can also swipe over, click clear all, and all the applications will be closed out. It doesn't delete your apps. It just pretty much clears them from memory. Again, you don't have to do it all the time, but it's good practice if an application is faulty or if it's not working right. That's pretty much one way to do it. Now, going back to our home screen, like we mentioned before, instead of you going through and, you know, constantly clicking on applications and, you know, having to go through that way, you can put these on your home screen for your most used apps. So you can see here we have messages and phone calls and everything already set up. If you want to add an application to your home screen, all you have to do is grab the application like this, go ahead and wiggle it around a little bit, and you can go ahead and drag it over to wherever you want to on your specific panel. So I can go ahead and drag that application right there. So instead of going over every single time, I can just open it right here. So again, apps like camera, messages, phone call, I mean, these are basic applications that I'm sure most of you will probably end up knowing. So within the camera app, you can go ahead and take photos. You can zoom in and zoom out. I will have probably a full separate video walking through this camera app because there's a lot here, but pretty much it's self-explanatory. You can take photos, videos, you know, portrait mode, all these good stuff. I mean, there's so much capability here. And like we mentioned before, we can swipe up and we can come out of here, but you can also have separate home pages. So here we have another home page. And let's say, you know, instead of having all the apps on one page, we can just separate it and have separate apps on the other page. We can do the same thing, swipe up, grab an application, wiggle it around and drop it here. And if we want to make a separate page, we don't even have to grab another application. We can just grab the same application and drag it over to a different page like this. And you can go ahead and drag that application right there. So now we have three home pages that you can swipe between and you can always swipe up, get to your applications and pretty much move on from there. Now, the other aspect we haven't hit on yet is the top status bar. So if we swipe down instead of swiping up, you'll come into here. Now, this is where pretty much all your notifications live. So things like, you know, text messages you get, phone calls, Snapchats, anything like that. If you didn't already see them, you'll be able to see them here historically. And you can swipe out of them by swiping to the side. Most of the time, it'll work. Some applications like this are just persistent. But you can always hold it down and see which specific application it is. And then close out of it there too if you need to. But another big thing is swiping down once more and you'll come straight into this panel. So what this is, is it's pretty much quick toggles. So instead of going to your settings application, you can go straight here and you can modify a lot of different things. So you can go ahead and modify the brightness. So if you want to, you know, put the brightness up, you can grab this toggle and bring it up like this or bring it down and you can see the brightness changes. So that's a really cool thing. Another thing is with internet and Bluetooth connections, you won't have to modify those too much since you already just set it up. But if you ever want to connect to new Bluetooth connections or Wi-Fi's, you can do it here. The flashlight toggle is quickly how to enable your flashlight. So you can see my flashlight turned on. You can go and turn it off by clicking it again. Do not disturb mode, alarm, airplane mode. You don't really have to modify those things too much, but if you want to turn off notifications, you click on do not disturb mode. And you can also swipe to another page and you'll come here. Now you can go ahead and turn on battery saver mode, screencast, record your screen, nearby sharing and so many other things but you can also add and delete toggles by clicking on the pencil button right here and you can go ahead and actually go ahead and add toggles if you want to so i don't really modify these toggles too much but you can go ahead and go through and see which toggles you like and add them from the bottom to the top right here and instead of actually just clicking on the buttons all the time and clicking back there's more gestures that you can do so you can swipe from the side and actually click back and that's almost like a back button it's almost like you're dragging the display to go back so now if we want, we can go back down again, go back over here. And if you actually want to go ahead and turn off your phone, you have a couple different options. Now, one way to turn off your phone is by clicking the power button and the volume up button like this. And you can get into this panel. If you don't want to do all that, you can always swipe from the bottom, swipe down once more. And there's a little power button here. You can go and click that. And you can go ahead and power off your phone. You can go ahead and restart your phone here too. That's another really cool thing that you have the ability of. Now again, we can swipe up. We can come just pretty much cancel out of those things. Now we can go and make our way over to our settings application. So if we swipe up, we go down to settings right here. There are a lot of different things that you can go ahead and modify in this specific application. I mean, there's just, there's just so many different things. 
So here we have our Wi-Fi connections, application, notifications, battery, storage. I mean, I would recommend going through all these and pretty much configuring them and looking through all of them. But a majority of you may already know these. You know, you can change your wallpapers, your security and privacy settings, your location settings, and safety and emergency. It's not anything crazy. A big thing for you, though, that I'd probably recommend you to do is to go ahead and click on the system setting, which is all the way at the bottom. And right here where it says system update, this is an area you probably want to get the most familiar with. You want to click on system update and you want to make sure that your device is up to date. So if it says your system is up to date, then you're set. You can also click down here for check for update. And if there is an update available, I would recommend you to install it. You do not want to be on an outdated version of you know, your software. So that is a big thing to keep in mind. And like we mentioned, let's say you want to go back to your previous panel. You can swipe from the side and you can pretty much come back to your main panel. I think swiping to the front doesn't work sometimes, but you can always swipe to the side and pretty much, you know, just exit out of the application that way. But you should be familiar with, you know, the gesture-based design by now. If you ever want to install any applications on your Google, you know, device, such as the Pixel 6 Pro, we have our app store called the Play Store right here. So if it's not on your home screen, you can always swipe up and search for it. Ours is right up there. So in this case, I'll just click on it over here. And this is where you're going to go ahead and install pretty much all of the applications you'd ever want to install. So in this case, let's say we wanted to install Snapchat. Well, we'd go ahead and click up here and we would go ahead and type in Snapchat. So most of the time it will already auto-populate what it is. So we can just click on it up here. And at this point, you can see we have the application right here and there should be an install button. So at that point, you just have to click on install and the app will go ahead and install itself. And at that point, you can swipe up like we mentioned before and the application will either install here, so we can see right there, or we can swipe up, and once it's fully installed, we'll see the application right there. So that's another really important thing that you can do. Installing applications and updating applications are some of the most important things you can do on your Android phone. Now, another thing that's pretty important is taking screenshots. So if you ever wanted to screenshot on your Pixel 6 Pro, you want to locate on the power button and the volume down button on the right side of your phone. So just like this, and just like with the power button that we talked about earlier, it's the opposite power button and the volume down button. And you just want to kind of click them in just like this, and it'll go ahead and take a screenshot on your phone. So this is really cool. All the screenshots are housed on your photos application. So if you ever take any photos or videos, all you need to do is find the photos application of your phone. So you can pretty much scroll up here or sometimes it's already on your home screen. So you can click on the photos app and you will see all of the photos and videos that you've taken. So again, these are all the photos and videos taken from even years ago. This was forever ago. I didn't even know this one here. So all you have to do is find that application and you'll be able to see all the photos and videos right here. So that's a really important thing that I recommend you guys to look at. And that really pretty much covers it up for the most part. That's really everything you need to know for your Pixel 6 Pro. And at this point, you should know how to use this phone, you know? If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.